It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to a very lucky Friday the 13th. Why? Because we get to spend our morning with you. Time now for our weekly roundup of the world of tech with our expert and editor of Bandwidth the Blog, Ed Satinas, Jansen van Rensburg. And today we are talking about the future of cell phone networks here in South Africa, or maybe the world. Yep. 5G is here. Welcome back, my man. Thank you. Um, we've spoken about 3G. We've gotten used to that. 4G came along really quickly. Now 5G, is this a reality? Where, where are we in the, the life cycle of 5G? Is it a reality? Well, it's not a reality for me and you yet, but yes, the technology <laughs> now exists. So there's companies around the world that is pioneering the next step in our mobile wireless um, internet technology. And uh, 5G is the next step, and we're starting with tests all over the world. And now there's a South African company called Comsol that have also said they're going to launch the first 5G network in South Africa next month. Next month? Next month. So that's right around the corner. Purposes, so yeah. dumb it down for us a little bit. What, what is ultimately the difference between a 3, 4 and a 5G network? Or Other than the obvious speed differences in your internet connection, yeah. um, it, it just basically sits on different uh, bandwidths within the radio wave spectrum. So um, the, the problem with pioneering technology after technology, other than having to build the cell phones that can actually make use of it, <laughs> is having to have the bandwidth, the, the airwaves basically, uh, to have that um, spectrum. So um, Comsol, for example, have a 280 megahertz spectrum and um, close to 28 gigahertz within the the radio waves to to test their to test the technology and it's kind of being tested all over the world on different spectrums. Will this require moment. a massive kind of upscale in our infrastructure in South Africa? Will we be able to achieve this with what already exists here? Well, not with what already exists. That's that's the thing. So it's a massive infrastructure investment to get to the next level. Um, we've also heard of the LTEA. What is that? How does that differ from the 3G, 4G, 5G? So before we had 4G, it was actually called LTE, so long-term evolution of the technology. Um, and then we had LTEA or LTE advanced technology, which is basically kind of a step up on 4, 4G. You can kind of think about it like 4.5G. <laughs> so um, many, many of our phones actually have LTEA technology and we don't even know it. Wow, so they say next month, is that likely to happen? Do you think this is gonna be a reality for the South African on the street? soon what, what give us a date it's not going to be within the next uh, month or two or even the next year or two i think by about 2020 we should see it rolling out in your in your s smartphone and in the networks across the country so by the time people are in space basically <laughs> uh, we're going to be able to get this but i think uh, ultimately we're going to watch the american market to see where they do it how they do it and that's going to be a Koreans. guiding light and the south <laughs> koreans um i thought you were going to go political for a second there but <laughs> not on this segment man tennis thank you so much um that is our roundup of what's going down in the world of tech today